Okay, so my speed controller did come in for the mini bike. However, this came off, like it just came that way. So I'm going to have to figure out how to sync that guy back on. This controller should work good. It's a 1000 watt, 30 amp one. And yeah, this is, this is going to be interesting. It should just snap in once I reach a certain spot because uh, I forget the technical term for that, but it should just, it has a pop fit. So I'm gonna get to doing that. It took a few tries, but I did get to work. It now twists correctly. So I can, it's going to just go on the bike right like that, but actually slide on. I guess I have to loosen it beforehand, usually you don't. So that'll be sitting here, give me voltage display and all. Probably gonna try and pry off this guy here, because I really don't care to have that branding on there. And this side doesn't even have it on. It would appear to go right there is my best. Nope, nope, it does have it right there. Oh well, I'll, I'll take that stuff off. So, I got this one off here already, it was super easy, figured out show you me to do this one. I literally just popped my nail under there and was able to pry it off, it was easier with two hands so. Um, let's try a foot and a hand, yep, see, already off. Nice and clean, no longer have how was on, however you pronounce that, which does not know how to part package parts correctly whatsoever. Granted, I did pay, like, cheap for this. Throttle's now on with the key and the grips. The key is interesting because you're able to slip it in either way and it works. But what you can actually also do is, whenever it's on, it can't be taken out. The throttle and grips were a little bit harder to stick on. I do not know why I decided to zoom in. Let me fix that. Um, they were a little harder to stick on because of this paint here, but when it went on, there's not much gap there, so I got this guy basically on perfectly. I still need to tighten these brakes and still got the wiring to do, which you have your negative, your 5 volts positive is the red, and the green is data, and then you have your blue, which is actually positive, and yellow, which is negative, for the key to turn on and off, and those are wired in really weird on this guy. Um, it actually uses two different plugs, I'm not sure which one, and this is interesting. The ones I was dealing with earlier today went positive, data, negative. Interesting that this one uses the goes positive, negative data. And at least this actually has labels on it. And develo actually is just means throttle. Indicators for voltage and brake lights. You got your brake, motor, another brake, power locks, and sport. I'm guessing if I short out sport, it's going to increase power. I'll have to relook on the form, but generally that's what they end up doing. Is there a lock one on here? No, that's probably why they do it there. Um, charge port. Yeah, so this is the controller I got. Everything's working good. Well, hopefully, well, sliding on good. Now, time to do wiring. Just an update on electronics. Switch to XT90. Wants the blue wire to go on the black indicator wire, and then the yellow wire to go on the red um, power lock one. However, I'll probably just end up wiring it straight into the power lock with my previous experience with similar controllers and blue is generally positive whenever it comes to these guys and I literally wired another controller the same way so it would go to blue to red 
yellow to blue, and then it works. I, I don't think I'm going to try using what they said, because that's sketchy. Okay, so I got it working. Right now, just I need to solder it up, because I want to stick a switch in between these two wires here. Um, the switch that was right here, that way, this place not have to be on the entire time, because that's going to be a non... But it's not going to have many amps going through there. And that'll allow me to turn it on and off. I tried the wiring that it showed it wasn't working. Um, that actually is blue to blue, which is weird, because blue is usually positive, especially whenever it comes to these wires here. Wait a second, this entire controller has it flipped, because that the motor is going backwards right now. But blue is going to negative on there with the plug. Well... Okay, this controller just likes to flip things from the ones I'm used to. Um, but if I... Here, let me... If I touch these two together... And... You see that's on there now. Um, I just have it loosely stuck in there so it works. Key is in the up position. You get nothing. I turn the key. That is hardly full throttle. Also, here's my battery setup. Um, it's three separate batteries, so I can charge it on a balance charger instead. Because BMS costs money, and that allows me to get higher amperage out. Um, but the way that it was saying to do it, which included wherever my red wire went, here's the red wire. This red wire, well, this red wire here, connected up to the yellow. Um, it would not work unless I took this red wire and touched it to the blue, or touched it to that red wire there and it would it disable the lock the lock did not work at all then so i i don't i don't know what those instructions were saying there i'm glad i did it my way even though i switched polarity at first and it didn't work at least nothing got fried and everything's working time to finish wiring this up and stick the switch in right there okay so the switch is wired up in here i'm just going to flip it. It is wired over there. Oh, well, that's not right. Does it at least... That drops even lower. And I'm getting nothing. And it's also zooming in. I did not want you to zoom in. There we go. Uh, camera close. Um... Weird. You know what? I'm gonna try and switch position to this guy here. No, I, I say it's worth a shot. Let's prop this guy up here can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm holding the, this with my feet. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. Um, well, light's not on. That's an um, interesting sign because it's on the on position. Switch it off. Back to on. No light. Oh, look at that. But we have this. Now, let's turn key. <laughs> okay, so that's just weird. Looks like we just won't be using that light. Okay, sweet. And let's just make sure it turns off. Um, let's flip that off. It's off. That's That works for me. Okay, so I've installed the switch. I had to bend the prongs up. I highly doubt you can see that in there. So I popped the switch out, pushed it back in. I just tucked the speed controller down there, have all the wires running through the frame. Well, the gaps in the frame more of with the battery. Yeah, this, this battery is really pushing on that switch. Um, it still works if I don't get caught on there. Um, at least it did work. What did I do now? Um, that looks like it's not getting power anymore. Okay, great. Um, let, me, let me get back to that. Okay, so I fiddled around with it. Oh, that's covered in gunk. And got it working again. Um, let's just, oops, sorry. Just turning that off. The, now I'm going to swap motor wires. Probably call it a day. Hopefully. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so I swapped the motor wires just to make sure that that would work. I will be sticking this piece back on just so I can get a nice, good connection. Um, 
and uh, flip the switch, turn it on. It is on. Drop the phone. Of course, let's zoom back out. Pick it up. So back wheel's not touching. Like this, and... That's uh, that's a that's a bit more power than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie, that's got some power. Um, I think that will be it for today. Um, probably going to, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it for today. Might off camera just stick some of this stuff back in. That way, episode three of this build vlog can be, um, well, me giving it its first test ride and potentially also include me uh finishing it up hopefully that would that'd be awesome my episode three of the build vlog finishing it up and actually in a ride well test ride unfinished then finish and ride well that's it for today um thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i don't hurt myself on this have a great day have fun making